Regis? Regis. Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Let's see where this road takes me. I have Nahelanes going wild. All lands an illusion. It's so powerful there's no way to dispel it. Whoa, that should be interesting. Let him out. Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread. Now it's my turn to gobble him. <laughs> Hands off my half, dearie. Want me to get cross? Then you open it. Now who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why? You're old, old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. You'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. Witch. You've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy.
Breathe easy. Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean. So he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? See, Anna, I, I, I'm sorry, but... But I haven't got them. Oh. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo! Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Deadlaf. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlaf, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Detloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm. Certainly, but you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So... What exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the people's sphere. We can stay here a week, and outside, mere minutes will have passed.
put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Me and you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Just a bit more and I'll be free. At last! Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Let's go! Always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! All right. We should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pee out from the princess. He sleeps to this day, I think. took what she wanted without asking. Yeah. 
Watch my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But the pet, what brings you? You can always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hood's popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good <laughs> now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter... Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Any luck? Yep, look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. They're better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big eyes? arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear.
Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. In your shoes, I'd have myriad questions. For instance, Siana, whatever became of you after they drove you out? But you, nothing. You avoid all talk of it. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear about it. The flower of Toussaint's nights took me all the way to the Ketu wilderness and left me there alone. Without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits. Bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. <laughs>